Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I want to show you my newest setup which I have in this TN. How this came to be, I needed something to do brain dumps and I just I couldn't get it work in my personal rings although I love to have my plants in here but it just wasn't working for brain dumping and what I mean with that is write everything down if I get an idea if I get some new information or anything so I just want to write it down so I don't forget anything and that I don't have to hold it in my head and mess my head and mind. <laughs> and yes, also what sparked this idea was when I received this VDS planner. Somehow I just wanted to start using this again. So this is such lovely leather and I just wanted to get a use out of it. So this is an Gilio. Giramondo S so that's the pocket size and this is Epoca leather the color yellow and I purchased this two years ago so this is from the premium good deals which is like the second best I think what was wrong with it is that spot and maybe there was I don't remember. It wasn't something that's disturbing to me. And I have made an unboxing video of this. It's one of my earlier videos, but I will link it for you if you want to see how this looked when I received it. And I will also link the video of my earlier setup, which I did then in, well, two years back. And I think I didn't say it in my unboxing video I'm not sure but this cost 179 euros and nine cents so then it was about 190 US dollars so it was expensive so actually I've paid about the same amount for this personal rings so it's not cheap so what I have inside so I have here three notebooks and the first notebook I have just tucked here in this front pocket and the other ones I have made, uh, <laughs> they're added a string so that I could have two, as you can see I have modified it a bit so I could have two longer strings because I don't like having the one between the notebooks and then putting it like I don't know I just like it more like this so this first one is now my brain dump notebook and as you can see I have made it sparkly <laughs> and what's there inside like underneath that is this this kind of word notebook which I have bought like years ago and it has dot grid inside and as you can see I have just pulled the rest of the pages that I had left in two notebooks and made it into one so that I could start using this system before I received these notebooks and this is a pocket size but I, I didn't find these I don't know the shop that sold me this years ago didn't have these anymore. So then I had to go with these field notes, notebooks, and I showed you these in my previous video when I showed all my stationary purchases from June. So I bought these, this spring edition and then this National Parks D series edition. And here in this yellow one I have now my it's like my crocheting notes. I have been making tarot bags now so I just wanted to write the notes somewhere. When I have done the bags I don't know what I will do next but this is now my notebook for anything that I do for fun. I don't know. 
it's working now so I don't know what it will be next and this is the TN is so easy that, that I could when I'm not crotcheting I could do something else and just change this notebook here so then in the middle this is now my dream notebook so I had my July challenge on my channel so to write at least one dream a day for July and I already started in June the last days and I have been writing the most days more than just one dream so I'm at dream 42 now so I just write at least one dream a day and that's that's also like a brain dump but somehow I just want to like get rid of all the dreams and wishes and hopes that I have and maybe then come up with new ones when I have like emptied my mind and then this for this I used the bullet journal method like how to note what you are writing here and I wanted to have something that feels like me and it's easy to see so I didn't like these that I looked uh, in the books and then I just asked <laughs> my spouse one morning could he just write his code that what would he use and then I just mashed those together and chose what felt right for me so for a task or a to-do I use a box which I then color in when I have done it and then for an idea or like an realization or it's not a clear task it's just like an idea to maybe if I want to do it or maybe explore something or think about so that's a circle which I then also color in when I have done it or it's like it's okay no nothing to worry about anymore <laughs> and then this dot is then like an experience or what happened so it's just like a note about what's happening and then I can make the dot in a star if it's like a star moment something very important or a big thing and then I have a line for a note then I can make it a plus sign or cross if it's a new information and then make it a star like that way if it's like important and these three are the ones that I use the most so I haven't used these so much but here I just then write the date and then write as many things as I need in a day and here at the bottom I then write the date when I have done all the tasks so there is nothing I have to go back to see and then just with a highlighter make it it's easy to see what page is already done and then I also started to write here with these dots like what happened at that day previously I did that in my daily pages here so wrote after the day what has happened but then I decided that I want to do that also here so then I have like an memory of what happened that day so then when I do my weekly review I can just take this and watch from here what happened as you can see I always only write on this side I don't know I just feel like it's it's not satisfying for me to write on the other side but here I just have wrote, written them if there is something that I'm thinking about like here I was thinking about my next five-year journal so I just wrote here some options and prices and here I was looking like what these TN covers cost I wrote that there and so this page is now like for bigger notes and I have enjoyed using this it's just like I don't know this is easy and I carry it with me here at home so and then I always have my pen here 
because this doesn't have a pen loop. So I have my pen usually here on the daily page and then have it just like that. And here I also use a friction clicker and here I have the point refill. So I decided my <laughs> confusion about I use this point here in this and then I have the ball clicker in my rings. I haven't decided yet what I will do after I have used this notebook so I don't know if I will start using a gridded notebook or one of the, these dot grids so that's something I still have to ponder. And yes here you can see because these are stapled so I put here always some washi so that it doesn't hurt my strings. So always here in the middle I have washi to cover those staples. But I just, I love it. I was trying to sell it but now I'm happy that it didn't work out. So I just It's just so I like it. and I have changed these strings so I think it came with black ones but I enjoy using it with these that are like the same color but of course this is getting darker so someday some one day my strings will be very light compared to the cover <laughs> but that's okay. If you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I would love to hear what you use for a brain dump or do you have something do you where do you write your thoughts and ideas down I'm always open for new better ideas if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching have a nice day. I hope to see you down below in the comments. Bye bye.